The Debug Toolbar Location setting lets you move the debug controls over into the debug view. You can see that I'm debugging a simple VS Code extension here, and the debug controls are normally shown in this little floating panel up here. Now, on smaller editor sizes or smaller window sizes, this little panel can sometimes get in the way. You can see that it's overlapping with some of my editor tabs, and I can drag this around so I can move it out of the way, move it over here if I wanted to, and I can also drag this down so I can move this down so it's no longer overlapping with the editor tabs, but it's still taking up space in my main editor area. Let's go use the debug toolbar location setting to change that. So I'm just gonna go to my settings and say debug toolbar, and we want the debug toolbar location setting. You can see that the default value for this is floating, and that's our floating panel. Let's go and change this to docked though. And once we do that, now the debug controls have moved over into the debug view, just here at the top of the uh, control here. So if we go back to the file, we can use the buttons the same as normal. And of course, keyboard shortcuts and all those things continue as, to work as well. But now the controls are there, switch to the Explorer, the controls are no longer visible, and they are not overlapping with anything. It's only when they're in the debug view that we actually see these controls now. Now there's one other value for this setting, and that is hidden. And when we do that, the controls are just not shown at all. Um, but of course, we can still use all of these standard commands and keyboard shortcuts to uh, debug through our program. So I'm going to just open the command palette and say step over, for example, and we go and we actually step over that code. So we are still debugging the code as you would expect, but now we've changed the um, setting so that the controls are just completely hidden. So that's the debug toolbar location setting. If you're finding that the floating controls are getting in the way, try changing the value to docked instead.